taking a look at what's happening with this lesson for portion relationships, um, it's not always going to be graphed. And as a result, sometimes it's just going to be shown to you uh, in a table like this, an XY table or a two column table or a two row table. We could make this horizontal as well. Um, basically, the question is going to be this. They'll give you the data in a table and they want to know, is it directly proportional? And if it is, is it a positive or negative relationship. Um, since it's not graphed, you know, we can't just look at the graph. We've got to be able to determine it all from the table. We can do that by finding what's called the rate of change. And when you're in these basic proportional relationships, it's not too fancy. It's not even pre-algebra level. It's just more like seventh grade math. If you take the y value, this 5, and put it right over top of the x value, this 1, well, that equals 5 divided by 1, which is 5. That gives you something that you can start to compare for the rest of the table. Take the y value and divide it by the x. You can usually do this with the calculator and say, well, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Well, that's the same. This is your rate of change. Let's just call it our rock, okay, our rate of change. And so um, 15 divided by 3, that's 5, and 20 divided by 4, that's 5. So we know that we get the same rock or the same rate of change every single time. And as a result, when you get the same number all the way down the table by taking your y value and dividing it by your x, we know it's proportional. So yes, it is. Now, this question of is it negative or positive? Well, look at your rate of change. Is it a positive number or a negative number? It's positive. So um, basically, it's it's direct positive um, relationship that's proportional. And that's all that it is. If we need a quick refresher of what in the world a proportional relationship is, here's the definition that we learned in the last lesson. Proportional relationship between two quantities, that's talking about the x and y values here, is when the rate of change is constant. Now, instead of constant, we could actually substitute in the word the same. So is the rate of change constant? Yeah, they're all the same. If any one of these was different, like if I made this one 14, 14 divided by 3 would not be 5, I would say it's not proportional. As long as these are all the same, you're fine. Um, here's example number 2. Let's see if it's directly proportional or not. 20 divided by 1 is 20. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 60 divided by 3 is 20. 100 divided by 5 20. And 160 divided by 8. 20. Here's our rate of change right here. It's constant, or in other words, it's all the same. So yes, it's directly proportional. If they wanted to know if it's a positive or negative relationship, take a look at the fact that they're all positive. Here's the very last one. Example of a directly proportional relationship that's going to be negative. Well, negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. And negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So there's our rate of change. They're all the same. They're all constant. And they're negative. So yes, it's directly proportional relationship, but it's negative.